Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about components of robotics process automation. Right? If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So, before explaining the components of RPA, you need to understand what is RPA actually. So, to know more about the RPA, so I have given the link in the description of my introduction video to the RPA. So, you can go through that video first, then you can uh, see the components of RPA later. But in this video, I will all, uh, again I will give some brief introduction about the RPA. Uh, then I will explain what are the components of RPA, right? So let me begin the explanation. First of all, uh, what is RPA? What is Robotics Process Automation? In simple words, you can do your tasks automatically. Very simple. You can do your tasks automatically. Right? Now, how you can do your tasks automatically? You can do your tasks automatically by creating robots now what type of robots you can create you can create virtual robots not physical robots right you can create virtual robots that is software robots so in simple words rpa means you can create virtual robots to do your tasks automatically now you can ask a question why i need to create software robots to do my tasks. To explain that, assume a scenario in a company where you have to delete crores of spam mails daily. So, uh, to delete the lakhs of emails from the spam in an organization, right? So, manually, it is like, doing manually is like a tedious job, right? So, that's why. I'm going to do or I'm going to develop a robot that can do the deletion of spam automatically. So thereby you can concentrate on the more important jobs. So this this deletion of spams will be taken care by your virtual robot. Getting my point? So to do this type of repetitive tasks and frequent tasks, I can go for robotics process automation where we can do our tasks automatically thereby I can concentrate on more important things right so to develop that type of virtual robot to do the task automatically uh, you need some components right now I'm going to explain what are those components we need uh, to develop uh, a automated process right so any robotics process automation platform provide some basic components right uh, along with this components I can develop a particular robo right virtual robo what are those components so the components are you can see the diagram here so the components are the first one is development studio second one is control center and the third one is bot runner right so this is the enterprise app. Enterprise app is the app that can going to that is going to use your robo, right? App, for example, your app can be your mail. Assume the scenario, same scenario. So your app can be your mail. If you want to delete the spam from your mail, so your enterprise app can be your mailing software. Okay. So these are the components: Development Studio, Control Center, Bot Runner. Now I am going to explain uh, each component in detail. So you can see here the uh, recorder, development studio, plugin, uh, sorry, uh, what are the components? Recorder, development studio, plugin or extension, bot runner and control center. Now you can see here, uh, inside the development studio, uh, you have separate uh, sub components. So what are those? Recorder, plugin, workflow designer. So control center is another component, enterprise app and bot runner is the another component here. Uh, you can see there in within development studio we have sub components by name, rec recorder, plugin or extension or workflow designer. 
so these are the components now i will explain each components in detail right so as the name suggest development studio means it is is it is going to be used to generate your virtual robo i will explain now so in the development studio what is the first component recorder is there so why i need a recorder see here wait a minute yes recorder so recorder is the part of the development studio you already know that uh, why i need a recorder as the name suggest recorder will record the steps it records mouse and keyboard movements on your user interface and once these movements are recorded it can be replayed right it can be replayed to do the same steps again and again so getting my point so recorder is mainly used to record the steps of mouse and keyboard movements so once it is recorded it can be replayed it can be replayed to do the same step again and again so thereby this enables automation because i can once the steps are recorded i can use the same steps repeatedly thereby it enables rapid automation so this is the task of the recorder that is present within the development studio right so this is the recorder is the main component right because of the recorder we as rpa gained lot of popularity simple recorder records the movement once the movements of keyboard and mouse are recorded i can reuse them i can repeat the same steps thereby i can do the task automatically now development studio is the second component the development studio is used by developers to create a robo you know that right or to train the robots right you can create the robots and you can train the robots and also using the set of development studio so right a set of instructions and decision making lo uh, logic is coded obviously robots have to take the decisions right suppose if they want to delete the spam folder first robots should understand uh, how a spam mail will look so those things decision making should be incorporated into the robots that is taken care by your development studio right and also flow charting capabilities can can also be added to to identify the flow from one one step to another step i can uh, include flow charting capabilities also in the development studio so it will be easy to plot the steps in a process okay getting my point guys so develop and another thing is developer need some coding knowledge also if you want to uh, configure your robots or to develop your robo simply you can't uh, uh, develop a robo without pro programming knowledge so right so you need some programming knowledge also to develop your robo hope you are understanding guys recorder will record the steps development studio is mainly used to develop your robo right using that you can do your task automatically next is extension and plugin as the name suggest uh, most platform offer many plugins and extensions why means to ease the development to achieve the compatibility right right because the dev bots can be run in different different platforms right that's why to make your development much easier you need some extra extensions and plugins right that's why i need extensions and in many applications such as java sap uh, it is not easy to individually identify controls of the ui through traditional techniques obviously this is just example that's why what they will do means rpi vendors develop separate plugins and extensions to help these issues so i need a separate uh, extensions for different different platforms because rpa uh, may be run uh, it can be run in run in different different uh, platforms it can run in different different platforms that now bot runner you develop put the bot but it has uh, uh, right once it is developed uh, you should run your bot you, it has to run repeatedly you know that 
so how your bot can run means using a bot runner right so bot runner is mainly used to run your virtual robot that is created in development studio simple so almost all the rpf uh, t- pro comp- rpf platform supports this components okay next is control center uh, as the name suggests the objective of the control room is to provide robo management capabilities robo management capabilities means it will monitor the robo operation and also it can control the robo's operation in a network that means you can use a control center to stop your robo or start your robo make schedules for the robos maintain the code redeploy the robos to different different task if in if it is needed and manage the license and credentials all those things are taken care by the control center so using this components like recorder development studio extension bot runner and uh, control center may and also plugins you can develop any process that can do the task automatically whatever the rpa platform you use most of the platform uh, uh, supports this components okay so that's it guys hope you understood the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section Thank you thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and please support by liking my video and also share the video with your friends thank you